Hello everyone, Rain here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today, we have another exciting Black Friday deal to bring you. Apparently, I decided to celebrate Black Friday by wearing the lightest colored things I own, but while my wardrobe prep might leave something to be desired, I am prepared to bring the excitement as we're having a look at Keep Forest's Evolution Atlantica. Uh, just some really exciting cinematic sounds. So as always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications to stay on top of everything we have coming out right now. But apart from that, let's get right into it. We did have a look at another sort of trailer music type library, which was Sample Logic's Trailer Expressions 3. And I would say that the difference is that this one is much more instrument focused. The Sample Logic one was way more about evolving textures and things uh, and atmospheres. So if we just have a look at this trailer brass instrument to start with, then we'll go through the other instruments. This is the main sort of interface. So this big wheel in the middle will kind of uh, crunch the sound and everything. So this is just what it sounds like normally. I mean, if you turn on this and bring the wheel around, so this, yeah, if you turn on this tab here, you start getting lots of saturation and distortion um, and just pumps energy into it. And then you have typical uh, envelopes here, which are on all of the instruments. And then they will have legato. Some of them have glide here and they all have a stereo control as well. Uh, and then you can see on the keys, the range that the, of the range of notes that this instrument has. And these toggle the effects, which can be found on the motion tab. So on the motion tab, you have a sequencer. There's also this sort of auto pan sequencer as well which you can have multiple steps again and this is quite cool because let's just do random and you can see you can manipulate how it moves through the stereo field and you can sort of draw a curve like this so that's quite a cool panning thing and then these pink keys will toggle on and off you see the lo-fi going on there some of the effects so you can use the high octaves to do that on your keyboard and then if you select an effect you have the settings here so the delay reverb and the, the reverb within this does sound quite cool a few different presets uh, and then you have the modulation page where you have lfos so you have more panning controls And you have a volume LFO. And so with all these, you can just sort of juice up and customize the sound to squeeze the most out of it that you can. So that's the trailer brass, which is a pretty classic cinematic sound. If we look at some other things, we have the Brahms here. This is literally called Inception Brahms uh, with this classic sound. In it, of course. Oh, wrong octave. Heard that before, right? And then again, you can spice it up. So again, you see the stereo control. This one instead has some panning and tuning, so you can tune the Brahm to the key of your song. If you're in C, you can. Um, and then aside from that, this tab is all the same. Uh, so we can listen to a few of the other Brahms though. It's not just the Inception one. Uh, you have.
So if we go back to this one, you can see these multiple samples here. And if you go to this key here, it will move it to the next sample over. You do have uh, quite a few other sounds as well. So they do have a guitar library. In the lower octaves, it sounds quite cool as well. And then you can crunch it up for sure. I'll just keep walking through, I guess, some of the other samples so you can hear the range of instruments because really that's what it's about here. Um, you have this lead sound. There are lots more impacts and atmospheres as well. Um, and if you just have a look at some of the range of some of the libraries, you can see uh, so there's, that's Epic Trailer Impacts, there's Rises and Drops as well, which are really useful to just um, hit those key moments within your track, for trailer music especially. And then you can see these folders within the guitars, for example. You can see the Doom guitars, and there's also a range of bass guitars as well. So there's, there's quite a lot of variety within this instrument. I might just get in and, and start experimenting with uh, trying to put something together. I'm going to start with these Brahms to try and uh, get started with a punch and get the feel for it and then build melodic elements around that. So let's see. Something like that. Let's quantize that because my timing was terrible. Uh, and then this one, the impact was a little bit delayed. Oh. So I might need to move back a quarter note. Let's see. And then we'll, we'll build some brass over the top of this and see how that goes. That ending sounded a little bit tame, so what if I just put it half step? Made it sound really. Uh, slightly comical, perhaps, but it's dramatic, so we'll take it. Uh, and then I kind of hear that being a build-up, then it drops off, and maybe the guitars can come in. So let's see. Yeah, 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 okay. So let's have a listen to these guitars. By the way, you can change the color of this as well. So like, maybe I want to make the guitars purple. We are in A minor, so... I... My timing is horrendous on this keyboard, but uh, I kind of know the vibe I'm going for. I was thinking of having smaller chugs. What I might do is bring a filter over this so it sort of rises in. I might want to add uh, some atmosphere, maybe in the intro, but also just take advantage of some of these really nice sounds that they have. We didn't really look at the atmospheres before, but there's some really nice ones. So uh, the one I have on my template is Whale, uh, which sounds really nice.
uh, and then there's a and then there's a few others like Blue Sea I really like as well. It's just after this one, uh, and it's similar but more string sounding. So what I might do is I might use the whale again um, and just sort of introduce. Another great place to look is at some of the hits that can be found within the uh, libraries. So this is the epic trailer hits. We can listen to a couple of these and see where we can integrate them. So you've heard a few of the sounds individually and you've heard me sort of attempting to build a couple of layers in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, quickly refine this, um, flesh it out and do something after this transition here um, and show you the final finished product. Okay, we're back. So, uh, you know, I went and took that intro fledgling idea that we had and I fleshed it out to something more complete. You know, I had to buckle down serious business. Hair had to come up. So, um, you can kind of see the basis of the intro here, and then where it drops away to the guitars. And then there's this whole new section that you haven't heard yet with bass layer. We've used uh, some swells and drops at a couple of key transitional moments as well. Um, so, I guess waste no time and just get into playing the track. Alright, there we go. So that is a little glimpse of what is possible with Evolution Atlantica, even when it's in the hands of someone like me. Uh, I'm sure most of the audience will be much more talented and can do great things with it. Um, I'd love to be able to hear them. So yeah, let us know how you go with Evolution Atlantica. Definitely check out the deal we have going right now. Um, that's been all from me. It's Rain from Audio Plugin Deals, out.